London welcomes the Duchess of Kent to the Manson House. As their Colonel-in-Chief, she inspects men of the Royal West Kents drawn up to honour her before she attends a luncheon given in recognition of the success of her tour of the Far East. During the luncheon, Mr. Oliver Littleton, the Colonial Secretary, pays tribute to the goodwill that the Duchess fostered wherever she journeyed with her young son, the Duke of Kent. The Premier and Mrs. Churchill, members of Parliament and many city dignitaries, are among the distinguished gathering who hear the Duchess speak of her arduous 21,000-mile trip. I know that there are present here today many distinguished people whose knowledge of these territories I cannot pretend to equal. But this tour has enabled me to gain some idea of the conditions under which so many millions of the Queen's subjects in that part of the world are living. I should like to, to say something of the gratitude and admiration which I feel and which I am sure is shared by all of you towards the men and women of many races who in these far countries are giving their utmost and in some cases their lives to repair the havoc brought upon them by war and to rebuild the fabric of just and ordered government so tragically shattered by an alien and ruthless domination. I should like once more to thank most warmly the peoples of Southeast Asia whose countries I had the privilege and good fortune to visit.